Hello friends, happy Friday. Hope your day is going great. Um, yes, going late a little, going live a little late today, but um, I had a friend over today and it was so amazing to catch up and all that good stuff. So I just put Luke down to sleep around like half an hour ago. So yeah, I have the time now to go on here and talk to you guys, so let's do it. Um, so I did go ahead and do the verse of the day today. Um, again, it's found in the version app, which is the Bible app. Um, and it kind of gives you uh, the verse today every single day. Um, and I have been enjoying, honestly, for the last couple of weeks doing that with you guys. And it's been a blessing. So um, fortunately, and I know they probably do this on purpose, since it was Christmas, they, um, um, yeah, gave us some really amazing uh, Bible verse about Jesus. And um, yeah, and we even discussed that on Christmas, like the 24th and then Christmas on the 25th. I was not able to go live uh, that was Wednesday, uh, but I did go live yesterday and I'm on here today. So let's get to it. Um, so today's verse of the day is found in the book of First John, which if you've been following me for a long time, you know it's one of my favorites. This slide's getting my way. It's one of my favorite books in the Bible. And we actually started it here um, in my live videos. We started it last year. No, this year, but earlier this year. We like went through it. Um, so, uh, it's found in 1 John chapter 2, and um, it is verse 6, so I'm going to go ahead and read it, and we'll discuss it. I feel like there's a lot for us to talk about, and so let's do it. Again, uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 6, and it says, it's short and sweet, um, but it says, Whoever claims to live in him must live as Jesus did. So, um, it's talking about... Um, Jesus himself, okay, in the sense that whoever claimed to live in Jesus and him must live as Jesus did. Um, I looked up the, the word claims as I usually do when there's words that I do understand, but in order for me to get just a deeper, deeper meaning, I looked them up in the dictionary, right? And the word claim um, says to require as due or fitting, okay, maintain as a fact. Um, and the, even just the heart of this verse is saying that if we, um, as Christians, as uh, people who call themselves followers of Christ, we are to follow Christ. How simple is that, right? Um, but it, there's a lot more to it than I feel like we see. And I think that there's a lot more Christians who think that they are living a life that honors Jesus and that um, live a life as Jesus would. They claim to. And I don't think that they are. And um, we see even in the book of First John, and continuing on, it says, you know, if you love me, and God says, if you love me, you will follow my commands. And that's how they're going to know that you are a follower of Christ. Um, follow all of his commands. And I know that even though we are sinful, there's no way that we can follow all of them every single day. But it's just that continual attitude of, I want to please you. So yes, I'm going to do my best not to sin. You know, um, the point is not to, to, to be perfect and to not sin at all because again, we can't. But the point is to sin less. We're not sinless, but the point is to sin less every single day. And um, we don't do that through our efforts. We can't do that by saying, okay, today I'm not going to sin, today I'm not going to sin. Because it comes so natural for us to sin. You know, our hearts gravitate toward things that are sinful. Um, but the point is to just have Jesus and have him weigh so much in our hearts and, um, have our love grow for him more and more that we are more prone to when making decisions as to whether I should sin or I'm going to sin or not gravitate more towards Jesus, um, because we love him more, you know, and that doesn't come by just like, you know, flipping a switch. No, no, no. This comes by knowing him, by studying him, by talking to him, by having him talk to you, growing in your relationship. You will love him more and more. So again, it's not about being sinless. It's about sinning less. And how do we do that? Not by our own efforts, but by us um, spending more time with Jesus, falling in love with him more, right? There are certain things in my life that I love doing, um, like I love sleeping. I love sleeping in. But my kids need me. So I look at those two things and my kids mean more to me than my sleeping as it should. So I'll get up, you know, I, I'll fight it and I'll get up and I'll go make breakfast for them and I'll go spend time with them. 
So again, you know what I'm saying? Jesus has to hold that weight that, you know, yes, we are pulled to sin, but since he is so important for us and we are just in love with him and we desire him more, we don't. We we um we choose him more often than it is that we sin. And that is our goal, okay? Um, so going back to the verse, if you're tuning in, is in 1 John chapter 2, verse 6. Whoever claims to live in him must live as Jesus did. Um, if we claim, if we say we are followers of Christ and we love Jesus, if we are Christians, um, everything about the way that we live should honor him and, should, and our life should be lived as Jesus did. Um, and in the Gospels, we can see clearly how he did. You know, if we study him, we will see how he spoke to people, what he liked, what he didn't like. Um, even just the, uh, how do I say this, the, the everyday living that Jesus did, right? Because we can read in the scriptures and it doesn't say, well, Jesus took a vacation. Well, Jesus upgraded his house. Well, Jesus had a mortgage. Not saying that those things are bad, but what are we about? Like, are we about the things of, of the Lord like Jesus did? Jesus said, I was, a, and I have to be about the things of my father. Um, people in his heart weighed a lot more than even himself, than even making sure that he had comfort, even though, you know, um, and, and looking at the way that he lived, that's how we're supposed to live. So if we look at our every day, if our anxiety and our thinking, most of it every single day is on material things, is on the next job I'm going to get, is on the things I need to buy, is on, then are we really living as Jesus did? You know, um, looking at Jesus' ministries and, and, uh, and the ministry and the life that he lived here on earth. Nowhere in the scripture does it say, well, you know, he was concerned about the next vacation he was going to take. He was concerned because he had to go grocery shopping. He had a concern. Again, not that those things are bad, but if you love Jesus and we want to be about things that he is, then you're probably not going to do those things so often, right? Like you're going to be more about talking to people about Jesus because you found a treasure that you want to share. Um, so looking at his life and honestly looking at people who call themselves Christians nowadays it's really hard to find people like that. I don't know about you, but for me it is, even in the church. And I think that's very sad. And I'm being very, very, very honest and very bold here because um, it's very rare that you see that. Um, and this is why, you know, even this year, my husband and I were praying over a church and that's what we wanted. We wanted to really, we wanted the love for Jesus to be so evident, evident and so obvious um, that, yeah, that it's made it clear to people who that would go to the church, etc. And that is something that we were looking for. And I gotta be honest with you, it's kind of hard for us to find that. Um, we were led by the Holy Spirit, and honestly, I feel like we have now. But I just think it's so hard, and I was talking to my brother about this uh, yesterday, how, yeah, I feel like the grand majority of Christians in the U.S. really don't get it. And um, if they really do call themselves Christians and they follow Jesus and they are not living a life that does that, um, then it's very sad. Um, so my friend here just put Colossians 3, 5, and 6. Um, so if you want, look it up. And thank you so much for sharing. And um, it's just a challenge for us um, every day. Don't think of it as in my whole life has to do this. No. Think of it as today, how can I do that? How can I be about my, my father's business today? And if we claim to be Christians, if we tell others that we are followers of Christ and we are not doing it, we're liars. We are liars. And people are going to see that. And not just that, like Jesus is going to see that and God's going to see that. And that does not honor him. Boy, are we really watered down, even just the gospel, if we don't really do that. It's easy to talk the talk. So easy. I feel like I did it for so many years. Um, but it's hard to walk the walk, and that's why I feel like the majority of Christians here in the U.S. don't. Um, I see people, even in churches today, who their life is just, there really is no different than somebody who's not a believer. They have the same worries, they are about the same, you know, um, earthly things, um, and their heart is earthly things, and their heart is not about godly things. And I'm not saying here, go sell your house and go, you know, live like a bum. And no, um, it's um, what the grand, you know, looking at your whole day. What are you about in your whole day? You know, are, are you concerned of who, who am I going to speak to about Christ today? Who can I show love? How can I, how can I go deeper into the Bible? How can I, am I praying enough? And, you know, 
um, all those things. Look at Jesus' life, and it should like our our life should mirror that, you know. And um, it's just a challenge. I don't know. Even for me, just because I am a mom, and I feel like the, a lot of a lot of things that I do have to be with my my children. Like I have to make sure they're getting fed. I have to make sure that they're you know. Um, they're safe, that I'm keeping them active, school, etc. And those things are not bad, you know, just like Jesus had like a mom and Jesus I'm sh had brothers and sisters and he had, you know, things that he had to do as well. But his main ministry and the main thing that he was known for and that he did was being loyal to the calling that God had for him. Um, so let's do that. Look at, look at, think about the last thing that you think about before you go to sleep and the first thing you think about when you wake up. Does it have anything to do with Jesus? Does it have anything to do with God? And this is like for people who call themselves believers. These are for people who really do say, I am a Christian. Um, and if in your mind, the grand, you know, the majority of your thinking is not about Christ and the things of him, then you should answer. You should really ask yourself, am I really a follower of Christ? Am I really a Christian? You know, um, and if I'm not, do I want to be? And what do I have to do to get there? You know, um, and it's a continual thing. We won't get there until we we obviously go to heaven. But this is a life that we should be, and to all of our efforts to mirror, which is Jesus. Um, so, yeah, challenge you guys. Again, whoever claims to live in him must live as Jesus did. If not, we are not. We're not followers of Christ, and we are not Christians. And we need to st stop telling people we're Christians, because if that's not what we're doing, then we are lying. Um, so yeah, guys, that's the verse of the day for today. Um, today is Friday, so I will probably will not go live until Monday. I'm doing my best to upload these on YouTube as well. So if you're watching this on Facebook, you can see it there. I will, it'll be up as a post. If you see these on Instagram, it'll be up for the next 24 hours. I think you can still see yesterday's because I went live yesterday. Um, and then, uh, I'll do it on YouTube as well. Okay. So you guys can see it, share it. If I ever say something here that doesn't you don't agree with, or maybe you want to know more about, private message me. I really try not to really answer too many questions here because I get nervous and then I'll get sidetracked and then, you know. But if you really want to discuss something, I'm open. Private message me and we will discuss it. Don't forget I accept prayer requests, so hit me up if you want me to add you to our prayer list. And that's about it. Have an amazing Friday, amazing weekend, and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.